Minecraft new snapshot released, and I cannot wait to show you all the new features. First of all, they added these cool looking bottles, right? And you know what's really, really cool about this? See if I, for example, drink the bottle of Axolotl. Look, I actually turned into an Axolotl. How cool is that? Now, my FOV is messed up a little bit, but you see, I'm, I'm just a giant Axolotl. I think this is definitely a really, really nice addition to this game, and uh, I hope it sticks. Uh, let's try out some more potions, like, for example, the potion of B. And, uh, yeah, these are really realistic because uh, I can't really fly, you know, unless I like, use the creative mode thingy. But um, you can drink more potions, like the potion of Olay. See, I'm literally in Olay. Or the potion of Hoglin. I'm a Hoglin. And I don't think this works in the overworld. I'm probably just going to turn zombified. So let's drink another potion before I do that. And look, I'm literally a goat. Look at this. I'm literally goaded. I, I, I am the goat. I am the goat. Right? Let's put these back in. And you can see there's two more potions at the bottom of these chests. The potion of small and the potion of big. These do exactly what you think they would do, okay? Potion of small. It just makes you smaller. The hitbox is still the same, so it's kind of buggy. I hope they'll fix it in this next snapshot. The potion of big, however, does the opposite. Makes you big. Your hitbox is still the same. I hope they fix that in the next snapshot. I think the hitbox has got reversed. I think the potion of small makes your hitbox bigger, and the potion of big makes your hitbox smaller. Wait. Oh, if I have both effects at the same time, it kind of just cancels out, okay? So I think that's another problem we need to fix. But, um, now I think it's about time we start, like, flying up. Because there's another very, very interesting feature. See, if I'm up here at about Y level 600, see, the landscape around me kind of changes. I get teleported to something called a moon dimension. You know how cool that is? And, uh, something I have to do here is kind of, you know, just let it take me higher, higher, and higher. And, uh, yeah, I'm back in the overworld. But, if I just keep flying up here... I'll eventually get back to the moon. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but um, eventually you're gonna see I kind of teleport. So let's get back to where I was. And at about Y600, just wait for it. Yeah, 700. I get teleported to the moon. And, uh, you can see here that I'm just falling and falling and falling some more. And, uh, I can fall to the bottom of the world here. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah, look! It's a cool new world! See? This is- this is the moon! See that? That you see this new blog? It's called Cheese. Yes, they, they added cheese. How cool is that? And if I change the game mode to the survival here, see that I have low gravity on the moon, right? Because that's how things are supposed to be. I jump super high, and uh, let me show you some new features on the moon. So, first of all, these mobs are on the moon. They're called moon cows, but unfortunately, they're taller than me because I'm still a goat. And you can see they're wearing astronaut suits because if I Go into survival mode here, you'll see that I have an oxygen bar, like the bubbles, you know? When you're underwater, you get bubbles. Well, this also happens when you're in space, okay? You're gonna suffocate if you can't breathe. So, if I try to kill this cow with a low gravity, I get glass bottles and cheese. And uh, you can actually use these glass bottles to craft something, but we're gonna talk about that later. So, another thing that generates on the moon are these, like, cool-looking moon things. They're called, they're called, like, moon rovers. You know, those, like, little research cars that go on the moon. Yeah, that's what they're called. 
And uh, that's about it for the moon. It's basically just like a bunch of like, it's just basically just a bunch of cheese. You know the myth how like the moon is made out of cheese because that's what it looks like. Yeah, they made everything made out of cheese. And uh, you know these cows, they drop cheese, which is kind of natural, you know. Cows, cows, like, you make cheese out of milk. Yeah, I'm just getting cheese and I'm getting glass bottles. So, now, I think we move on to the real meat and potatoes of this update. So, you might have seen here in the chat, you know, there's a bunch of proposals. And what these are is, the like, the real content of this update is when you press the button V. If you press V, you have all of these game rules that you can vote for. This is why this is called the voting update. So, if you go to the proposals, then uh, you can see... Villagers upset mossy stone brick slab instead of gems, but change E to always render as light purple. Now, if you vote for this, then you get a achievement called I voted. Now, I, I didn't get it because I already voted for it. But, uh, this is option 2 out of 5, right? Option 3 out of 5, and option 4 out of 5. You know, there's a bunch of options here that you can choose to, like, which proposal you want. And, uh... If I go to my other proposals here, realistic piss and block sticking rules, you know, and there's also the do nothing option, which I mean, that's kind of fair, you know, sometimes you just don't want to do anything, but um, yeah, so if you try to vote for something, and you can change the flammability of wall torch to high, for example. So I found this really, really cool game rule, right? You can flip a bunch of game rules, right? Which game rule do you want to flip, you know? I mean, you can flip deal fire damage. If I vote for this, right? And you can see there, I started voting for Proposal 7. Uh, this means that uh, Proposal 7's voting lasts 15 minutes, right? So I think I just have to, like, wait for 15 minutes. And, uh, I think, uh, I think I'll just, I think, I think the rule will come into play here. Bro, this is so funny. Set sky color and deep ocean to poop brown. Bro, all these proposals are actually so funny, man. I hope they add this in 1.20, man. That'll actually make it a good update, you know. I need to vote for this, by the way. That's actually insane. Well, you know, while these votes are taking so long, you go in adventure mode, you know, in survival mode. You can actually place cheese. It makes a very, very nice sound. Just listen to that, man. So good. I can't, like, I can't really... I don't really, like, know what that sounds like. But it's kind of cool. And also, uh, yeah. Like, I like how they just design, like, brand new audio for this just actually so sick like this is so cool i can't get enough of this freaking cheese sound it's so epic oh yeah i forgot you can che eat cheese as well you know if you eat cheese one eighth of the block is going to disappear so it's actually like a really really efficient food source if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. That's, that's just everything about cheese, I guess. I think you can, like, make very intricate pattern designs from eating cheese. You try to... Oops. It's fine. Made a little Among Us, you know. It's pretty average. Yeah, it's just cheese right there, man. That's, that's for real cheese. 
right, you can see here, so, uh, proposal eight, set sky color in deep ocean to poop brown. If I go to this deep ocean right here, you know, wait for the chunks to load. The sky is poop brown! I don't know, I don't know who came up with this idea, but they deserve a raise, okay? Uh, this is the best update ever. And, uh, yeah, it's like, to, it's very, very cool to see that these new snapshots have so much content in them. Like, I would love for this to be added to vanilla Minecraft, by the way. This is actually so cool. Hopefully, all of these, all of these features come out in 1.20. And, uh, it's also very nice to, like, let the community, like, decide on more stuff. Like, for example, like, you can just vote for stuff. This is actually really, really sick, because, like, all these content changes, and you can, like, vote for stuff. Yeah. I hope this gets added to 1.20, and that's about it for this update.